So, now that I'm done being sick and the Fantastic Four teasers out, let's go into some of the issues with this movie. Overall, the teaser seemed kind of eh. Dark tones, great. Fast-paced action, wonderful. But it doesn't really tell you anything about the movie and seems to be made pretty much two formula for action teaser trailers these days. Now there's been quite a bit of discussion about the this particular iteration of the Fantastic Four, and three main issues arise, and I kind of wanted to add my voice to them. Number three, the age of the team. Everyone seems to be very young, which is going to happen. You can't show their origin and expect them to be middle-aged. The idea of their origin really needs a young team, a group that thinks of exciting possibilities and ignores the risks involved. The youthfulness plays to that idea much better because the young tend to think in idealistic fashions and that they are invulnerable. Number two. Now, this one is kind of tricky. A lot of people are extreme one way or the other with Johnny Storm being African American. I have no problem with it, provided that they actually address why he is one race and his sister, Susan Storm, is a different race. I think for comic book fans, they should have some sort of explanation. Now, a lot of people say there's only one way that they can explain it, but there are, in fact, five. So let's run through them in my personal order from least preferred to most preferred. Number five, Johnny is adopted. I put this one at the bottom because it's the most socially acceptable. And I actually hope they don't go with this because it has the unmentioned implication that he got where he is because he was adopted by a white family. Realistically, This is what they will probably go with, but I hope they kind of aim higher. Now, four and three are very similar. Johnny and Sue are half-siblings. These two are combined because it could be different mother or different father, so technically two possibilities. This one would show that their parents didn't have an issue with skin color, helping send a positive message to the audience that anyone can achieve great things. Number two, both Sue and Johnny are adopted. The adult Storms couldn't have children, so decided to adopt. This would again reinforce the message that race doesn't matter. The Storm family didn't see any difference. Number one, Sue is the adopted child. I kind of want to see them go with this one. A white girl was adopted by an African-American family and was given the opportunity to go on to something great with her adopted brother instead of growing up in an orphanage. It's kind of the reverse of what most people would expect, but entirely possible. I think it would send the bigger message and help break the the, the normal Hollywood mindset. And my number one problem with this, with the Fantastic Four, is Doom. I don't know what to think about this Doctor Doom. According to the actor and IMDb, Doom is not named Victor Von Doom, but instead Victor Domashev. He uses the online name Doom. Now, in the teaser, they have a number come up on a computer screen that, if typed into a URL, takes you to the Wikipedia page for Latveria. So he might have a connection at least, but it doesn't sound like he's going to be the the descendant of the throne of Latveria or anything like that. And I, I don't like this idea. Doom for me is one of the most relatable villains. His mother was died and was taken from him as a child, and he's trying to amass the power to free her. This idea makes him much more understandable. I mean, what would any of us do to help free our mothers if they were taken from us at a young age. But from what we've been told so far, Doom is really just a 
really bright hacker that sounds like he's a major figure from Skyrim. So what do you think about the new Fantastic Four? What things are you worried about? What things are you excited for? Leave a message down below and let us know. And if you're new to Olaf Productions, check out some of the other videos we've done and give the subscribe button a poke to keep updated on new videos. As always, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olaf Productions. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you've seen, click the annotations for other videos we have done. If you would like to help the channel grow, please click like and share the video on social media. If you are new to Olaf Productions, click the subscribe button to keep updated on new videos.